Welcome to my kitchen. Have you wondered what that secret is to that special flavoring in gourmet sauces, soups, and casseroles? Well, you know, it's probably the stock they're prepared with. In fact, I know it is. Fresh stock is a staple of healthy cooking, and many of the recipes that I'm going to show you how to make on this show call for stock. They all call for stock. That's why I call it the basis of all meals. To regain our health and keep our health and vitality, we have to start with the basics. Also, I know in my family, a lot of us are on sodium-restricted diets, as well as stay away from certain food groups. And the only way that we can do that is to prepare our meals ourselves. For instance, I never add salt to my stocks. I save that for the recipe they're used in. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a golden vegetable stock that's nutritious easy to make and can be varied for many uses. When making this stock, I find that it's best to start with the freshest produce possible. Now, I'm going to start with my onions. And now, when you go to your vegetables, you don't have to slice and dice and spend a lot of time. Just slice them in great big chunks. I already peeled this beforehand because I just wanted to be ready. But you just cut them like that, set them to the side, take your garlic, just have them. You don't even have to do that if you don't want to, but I find that it works really well. And then um, we're going to saute these in some oil. Now leeks, I can't tell you how nutritious and wonderful leeks are to work with. You're going to cut off that dark green part and just use the white and the part of it until it flowers out. Now leeks, I find it's really good to just chop them in half lengthwise and you run them under the faucet like this to get all the dirt out or you're going to get some minerals from mother earth you didn't count on in your stock so i've washed these really carefully before the show just chop them in half like that now we're going to heat our oven because we're going to want to go ahead and saute these in some oil and then we'll add the rest of our vegetables while those are cooking this really gets to the fun part my pan needs a little bit more heat so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my celery now when I cut my celery you can use the leafy part some people say it makes uh, a bitter taste I don't think so I think it's just packed with nutrients just chop it up in some great big pieces like that it doesn't have to be cut finely because this is just going to be to get the nutrients out of it. So we'll get this celery done and then we'll check our pan and it feels like it's hot enough so let's add some oil. I like to use olive oil when I cook. It's just so nutritious. A tablespoon will do. Maybe two. You know when you're making these stocks don't feel like there's a certain recipe that you have to only use XYZ ingredients. That's not so. You can have, I mean, if you have five carrots, use them. If you've got three carrots, use it. Now, we're going to get a little sizzling going on here. Oh, wonderful. I just love the smell of vegetable sautéing. They're lovely. We'll get our leeks in here. We'll kind of stir them around. Adjust your heat. And you know, when these start browning around the edges, we call it caramelizing in the cooking world. And that's where the vegetables get a lot of nutrients. It's actually the natural sugar in the onion that's causing them to caramelize. At this particular stage, I like to cook it for three to five minutes and let those onions get really brown. Tip to remember, the browner your onions, the richer the stock. You know, some people like to roast these in the oven. You can do that as well. That and oh, that's just getting lovely. When they start getting nice and brown, I'll add my other vegetables and get them good and coated. Okay, we need to get our carrots going, and I think we're brown enough now to get our celery added. Just throw it in your stock pot. Get your leeks in there. Every time I add something, I like to coat it with the oil. So go ahead and stir it around and get it good and coated. Now my carrots, again, I just cut off the tips and just put them in there in big chunks. And that's good enough for that. In go my carrots. Ooh, it smells good already. Kind of like making soup, but not as much work. All right, 
Now we'll put in some Italian parsley. Italian parsley is different than the curly parsley that you find. Uh, it's just a little, I guess I'd want to say mild. It has like a nice, mm, just lovely flavor. I love that parsley smell. And then we've got a couple of sprigs of thyme. And of course we're going to add bay leaves after we get our water in there. Stir that around. And remember me saying I don't put salt. I don't add salt at this stage. I'm going to save that for the recipes down the road. Now we'll pour in our water. I've got two and a half quarts cold filtered water. Filtered is just a lot better for us, so do that if you can. Okay, and we'll stir that around. Add our bay leaves. Now, what you do is you bring the stock to a boil. Do go ahead, I'm gonna put my heat up a little higher now, and bring it to a full boil but don't let it boil for very long because it will impart a bitter taste in the vegetables. So you just want to bring it to a boil, then lower to uh, probably low to medium low, depending on if you have gas or electric, and simmer it for 45 minutes till the vegetables are soft and uh, all the flavors are melded. Now, a lot of the recipe books are going to tell you to uh, simmer this without a lid. I prefer a lid, and I'll tell you why. Because... I know that when you make a stock without a lid, you're going to, it's called reducing. You're going to boil off a lot of the liquid. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover mine while it comes to a boil, and we'll check on it in a few minutes. This is really a lot of fun, isn't it? Now, when this is done, after 45 minutes or so, here's what you do. You're going to take a large bowl like this, and we'll put this over here because we ran out of space over there. So you're going to take a large bowl with a colander in it or a wire mesh strainer if that's what you use. And you're going to take the stock, pour in here. It's going to all drain out. Then you're going to take those vegetables, return them to the pot. Here's why. And this is a really neat tip. You'll scoop out the vegetables a little at a time and return them to the colander. Take your spoon and gently press them against the edges. And by doing that, you're going to get the rest of the excess liquid, which is so rich in nutrients. And you'll just continue that process until all of the vegetables are pressed. Now, of course, they're not any good after that, so you have to discard them. Or you can just put them in a compost pile in your backyard and use in your garden. So that's just a neat little tip. Now, I want to give you a variation. The stock that we just made is so good for someone who is either just learning to cook or maybe is health challenged and suffering from um, a, a disease that they just can't handle much food yet. It's a really, really good place to start when you want to heal, detoxify your body, start getting better. Okay, so now that's our basic golden vegetable stock. Let's go to a rich stock, which we also can use in a lot of recipes, casseroles, etc. By uh, making a rich stock, we're going to take, during the cooking process, we would add two strips of kombu. Remember me showing you that when we did our stocking the pantry? We would have some kombu and a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns. We would add that to the stock and simmer an additional hour. Then after it's finished and after you've strained it, add two tablespoons of miso, like this. Just, you buy this in, um, well, actually, you can find it in most health food stores, but also in your Asian markets. Just make sure you get one that's as organic as possible. And that's really a good idea. Now, I've got a neat tip for you. If you need to have instant bouillon cubes on hand, which I always do, when I'm finished, I'll take one to two cups of my stock and return it to a smaller pot Simmer it for 20 to 30 more minutes. By doing that, I'm going to reduce it about 20%. That means I've boiled off the liquid and the nutrients, and it just gets richer. Then I will take that and pour it into ice cube trays, put it in the freezer for 24 hours, and then transfer it to a baggie or a container, and voila. I have bouillon for three months. That's really a good idea. Okay, now I want to show you... Uh, the finished stock. Okay, I have got here the rich vegetable stock. See how it's much darker in color? And that's from just further cooking the vegetables as well as adding these other ingredients. And then I've got the golden vegetable stock right here, which is what we're making today. 
Now, I put mine through a colander because I like all those flakes of herbs and the little pieces of vegetables in it. But if you're using it for a sauce that you don't want that, you can strain it further. It doesn't really matter. Either way, you've got some nutrition, which is just so good to have. Now, what I do, one little tip, is when someone's sick in my house, I um, will take my miso, take just a little dab of miso like this, pour in some hot plain stock. I'll take a little piece of grated ginger. I'm going to show you this ginger. It's just lovely. Just grate a little bit. Stir it up really good. Take a drink. And oh, you have some wonderful immune boosting um, broth that helps you heal. Now I have nourishing broth to build immunity and aid in healing. For a recipe of today's stocks, go to www.yourhealthtv.com. I hope you find this useful and I think your dishes will take on a whole new flavor. And like me, you'll soon see that stocks really are the basis of all meals. Stay tuned. We'll be right back for more.